Hi everyone, Petal is blessed here. Welcome back to my channel. I went into Dollar Tree the other day, you guys, and they have some new candle holders. Yeah, some new tea light candle holders. Yeah. So, you know me, I got them and I'm just gonna spruce them up a bit. Cause you know that's what I like. <laughs> Take something simple and turn it into something else. Yeah. So let's get into the items that we'll be using. Alright, you guys, here are the candle holders. Aren't they cute? I love the shape. And they have them in white, gray, and they have black too, but I didn't buy the black ones. Of these silver candle holders that I had from a while back from Dollar Tree. And these ones I got also from Dollar Tree. And we have our gold bling wrap here from Totally Dazzled. And also in silver, the silver bling wrap we'll be using also. And we have some white paint here. And we have our gems that we'll be using. And these sizes you can get from Walmart, but I got mine from Dollarama. And we have our E6000, our tools. And our glue gun, you guys. All right, let's get started. When we're going to start by painting our candle stick white. They do come in white, but at my Dollar Tree, they didn't have them in white. So I have to paint it white. <laughs> For our first candle holder, we're going to use our gold bling wrap. And I cut out some diamond shapes, well, squares. And then I turned them sideways to make it like a diamond. And we're just going to glue them going around our candle holder. And now we're going to add some gems into the spots that are left without any bling wrap in them, <laughs> just to spruce it up. For second design, I have this bling wrap here that I got from Dollar Tree, you guys. It's very nice. It has an adhesive on the back, and I cut out the squares, and it has little, um, it has gold and diamond um, rhinestones in it, which is really nice. So this will be um, placing for our second candle design. And now for our third candle design, I'll be using the silver bling wrap and I'll be cutting it into strips and placing it around our candle holder. And now for our fourth design, we're using the silver bling wrap again in the square shapes and we're placing it around our candle holder like I did before with the other ones. And now I'll be using the small rhinestones and placing it in between where we have the diamond wrap going around our candle holder, you guys. And now I'll be placing this gold bling wrap going around our white candle stands that we painted white. <laughs> <laughs> Just going right round. And we'll be adding one of our candle holders to this candle stand. Just like this. And now using the E6000, you guys, and our glue gun, we're going to be putting the candle holders together. Girl, I was with you like all day. Like all day. Yeah. Now I got 
got a much different frame of mind. Switch it up. If you need advice, girl, don't take this, take mine. Oh, take my girl. girl. I'll admit, all the money that came in changed it all up. But now, ain't nothing gonna come and change your love. Ain't nothing gonna come. Cause now it's a different love. We're just gonna add some extra bling strips going around to cover up where the two candlesticks are joined together. And here's our finished look, you guys. I think they turned out very nice. You know, all spruced up. I think they look much better now than just being plain and simple. I don't like plain and simple. <laughs> so I think they look very nice. And this um, white one with the white and the silver, I added um, the bling wrap going across the center also just to hide up where they join together and I think it looks nice with the gold and white and little rhinestones on the white candle holder stick I think it looks very nice four lovely different designs how you can decorate these candle holders and I think they look much better all blinged out. <laughs> and here's how they look with the tea lights in them. Now these tea lights have little sparkles. I had gotten these from Christmas. They have gold sparkles in it and um, silver. So I just added them so you guys can see how they look once the candles are in there. A little tea light candle. I think they look super cute. All right, everyone. Once again, I hope I've inspired you with some lovely DIYs for you to do with your candles. <laughs> now, I'm taking these candles over to my sister's house. Remember I told you guys I'm doing a few items for her? Yeah, so she loves gold. She's a gold girl. I'm a silver girl. You know, but she says she'll take some silver in there to make me happy. And I said, that's super great. <laughs> So, thank you once again for coming on and seeing the DIY that I had to do today. And I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So you can come back and see more of the DIYs that I come up with. And remember as always, you guys, stay blessed from Petal is Bliss. Bye-bye, everyone. You're beside me, yeah. 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 You're beside me, yeah.